Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain to you how you can use the selection criteria in ABAP, in the SAP query, especially in the info set. Here right now, I am in the transaction code SQ01. I have an SAP query called set underscore test with the underlying info set also called set underscore test. If I execute now the SAP query here right now, uh, we can see that I have three selection criteria: the creator of a purchase order, the purchase order number and the company code. If I execute the selection, then basically we can see that four columns, four fields uh, of the field group will be printed out. A test column, then as mentioned, the creator, the company code and the purchase order number. And if we go into the SQ02, so into the underlying info set set underscore test, so in change mode, then we have to go into code. Then in one code section where you would like to put your checks, your business logic about the selection criteria. So for example, in end of selection after list, then you have to keep in mind that um, we have to use one, um, one uh, table, internal table of the selection criteria that will be created at runtime. So during design time, um, the yeah the the editor doesn't know about the component your program doesn't know about the component but at runtime here i have prepared one uh, sample coding and the component is called sp dollar then a couple of zeros and then uh, one so for example if you would like to uh, use the first selection criteria please keep in mind what i mean with first and um, but if you would like to use the first selection criteria then you have to put a one if you would like to use the second one then put a two if you would like to use the third one then you have to put a three and so on if you for example use a number um, to, to that a selection criteria doesn't exist so for example if we have three selection criteria and now I use eight then this won't work so you have to keep in mind to use the number especially from the order of the selection criteria and here basically we can see i can save this right now it's perfectly fine here right now we can see what kind of fields i have added to the field group and but um, what is really important is that you know the order in the sap query that is important um, I will explain to you it in a couple of seconds in the basic list of the SAP query. But basically, if you know the order of your selection criteria, in this case, the first one, then I'm assigning this string basically to the field symbol I'm using inline declaration. And then I'm, yeah, then I'm adding my checks, my conditions to work with this selection criteria and there i will also show you this in the debugger you have the option the sign the low the high values and components especially for the internal table of the selection criteria and i will save this this is perfectly fine i will generate it so now what is important i will open up in a different window the sq01 so the sap query i'm going into change mode into the basic list i'm opening this to show you what i mean with the order here we can see based on this column um, the fields appearing on the selection screen as mentioned i have selected three of them so the creator then the um, the purchase order number and the company code and what is important the order has an alphabetic order based on the alphabet you define your order so in this case making it a little bit smaller to show you this we have three components so Ernam, Ebon and BUK 
KRS, book groups for a company code. And B is at first, so we have uh, Bucharest based on the alphabet. Bucharest is the first selection criteria for this component. And this is the first one, starting with one, as mentioned. And then the second one is Ebeln, so the purchase order number, because EB is for ER. And echo minus Ernam is the third one, and that is saved in three. So this is uh, how you define basically um, your order. And this is how you can get based on the SP dollar structure component your order. So I have generated this. I will show you this in the debugger. So I click on test. This is perfectly fine. Now, if you would like to debug the SAP query, you can simply use slash H to switch on debugging. So this is basically what I'm going to do. So debugging is switched on. Now I would like to put some values in that you will see um yeah what what is the value based on the debugger so and now i have debugging uh, switched on we i have three values in the selection criteria and now i execute the selection so and then i'm in the debugger this is also a nice way how you can debug sap queries and for example i would search for the sp dollar structure then we will jump down here where basically the selection happens so here you can see your as mentioned three sp dollar structures and you can directly see what is in once again we have uh, the first one based on the alphabetical order the company code B U K R S, so starting with B. Then we have E B, so the purchase order number is the second one, and the third one is the ERNAM, so the creator. And for example, if I uh, check just the third one, then you can see you have your selection criteria, you have your sign I for included, EQ for equals, and then the low parameter. And that's how you can also get those values. So for example, if you get the first one and then minus low, you will get the value that has been inputted into the lowest version. And that is how you can, uh, with a loop, for example, loop over those um, internal um, table or over the selection criteria and work with the selection criteria. You can add a lot of checks in there. And uh, let's go through... Um, our additional coding so jump once again here we are and here um, i will also put a breakpoint with f8 jump to this now you can also see as mentioned exactly the same you have those values as mentioned the first one b-u-k-r-s company code and then you can work with it as you want to so here as mentioned you can get the value work with it check if it is initial if it's not initial do something with with it and so on so this can be quite useful if you want to let's jump back into the info set in the transaction code sq02 um, you might have recognized why have I not just simply used the SP dollar structure because yeah in the debugger we could see that we have checked some values in there. Um, for example, if I just um, would put it uh, down here, so if uh, is not initial, <coughs> then do other stuff. Um, then here I will save and doing a syntax check so to check code and then you can see that this field is unknown and this is what I meant um, this will be created at runtime and during design time this is unknown and therefore you have to do this little trick to assign the string to the field symbol to use it within there. So if you have any questions left, please put them in the comment sections. Please like this video and please subscribe to not miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.